everyone! In today's lesson, we are looking at points, lines, and planes. Our objective is to understand and use the basic undefined terms and defined terms of geometry. As we explore the world of geometry, it is really, really important to make sure that you understand the vocabulary that is used in geometry, as you will see it used often with each concept taught. You also need to make sure you're paying attention to the notation. My recommendation, whenever possible, is to draw pictures and to make a note of the notations used. We start our vocabulary words with point. A point has no dimension. It is usually represented by a small dot. The notation used to represent a point is usually a capital letter. Most often it is the letter P. Line. A line extends in one dimension. It is usually represented by a straight line with two arrowheads. So as you can see in the picture, on both sides of the line are two arrowheads that represents a line. The notation used for a line is the two endpoints in a line along with an arrow that goes both ways on top of the letters. Plane. A plane extends in two dimensions. It is usually represented by a shape that looks like a tabletop or a wall. Collinear points. Collinear points are points that lie on the same line. So in looking at this picture, A, B, C, D are all collinear points and lie on the line L. Coplanar points. Coplanar points are points that lie on the same plane. So in plane M, points M, N, O, and P are coplanar points as they lie inside the quadrilateral shape. Line segment endpoint. A line segment is a part of a line that consists of two points called endpoints and all points on the line between the endpoints. This is really important to know. There are points within the line, not just the endpoints. So you could have a point over here, you can have a point over here, you can have a point over here, you can have a point over here. The notation used to represent line segments is the two endpoints and then a line right above it. Ray, initial point. A ray is part of a line that consists of a point called an initial point and all points on the line that extend in one direction. So this is a picture of a ray. Here is my initial point. That's where my ray starts. And then it just goes down here. This arrow shows that this ray goes on forever and ever and ever. The notation used to show a ray is the endpoints and above it is an arrow that only has one head where the arrow starts at the initial point and goes towards the endpoint. Opposite rays. If B is between A and C on line AC, then ray BA and ray BC are opposite rays. So if you can see in this picture, I have B, point B is between A and C on this line AC. And you can see that BA, if I'm starting at B, that's my initial point going towards A, is in the opposite direction of B going towards C. Intersect and intersection. Two or more geometric figures intersect if they have one or more points in common. The intersection of two or more geometric figures is a set of points that the figures have in common. Okay, let's take a look at example one, naming collinear and coplanar points. A, name three points that are collinear. Remember, collinear means they are all on the same line. Points D, A, and C lie on the same line, so they are collinear. B. Name three points that are coplanar. Remember, coplanar means that they are on the same plane. There are many correct answers. For instance, points D, A, and B lie on the same plane. Also, points B, A, and E are coplanar, although the plane containing them is not drawn. C. Name four points that are not coplanar. There are many correct answers. For instance, points A, B, C, and E do not lie on the same plane. All right, checkpoints problems number one and two are yours. For number one, name three points in the diagram that are not collinear. Number two, name the point in the diagram that is coplanar with points A, D, and E. Example two, drawing line segments and rays. We have to draw four non-collinear points A, B, C, and D, and then draw line segment A, B, ray B, C, line C, D, ray D, A, and ray B, D. So they've already drawn A, B, C, D for us. And from that, we're gonna first do the line segment A, B. This is what line segment A, B will look like. Notice that my line stops at the points A and B. Two, draw ray B, C. 
Here's ray BC. Notice over here that my ray starts at point B and goes through point C. Next we have to draw line CD. Here's what line CD looks like. Again, my line goes through the points C and D. Ray DA looks like this where the ray starts at D and goes all the way through A. And finally, ray BD looks like this where it starts at B and goes all the way through D. Example 3, drawing opposite rays. Draw a line, label three points on the line, and name a pair of opposite rays. First we have to draw points x, y, and z on the given line so that y is between x and z. So here's y and it is between x and z. The opposite ray, so we're going to start at y since we are looking for opposite rays and go outside to each of the other points. Our opposite rays are ray yx and ray yz. Example 4, sketching intersections. Sketch two lines that do not intersect and a line that intersects each of the other lines. First, we have to draw a line that does not intersect the given line. So that's my line that does not intersect the given line. Then, draw a third line that intersects the first two lines, emphasize the points of intersection. Here's a line that intersects the first two lines, and our points of intersection are here and here. Alright, checkpoint problems number 3 and 4 are yours. For both of these, you have to sketch the figure described. For number 3, draw points A, B, and C so that they are not collinear. Then sketch line BC, line segment AC, and ray BA. For number 4, sketch two planes that do not intersect and a line that intersects each plane in a point. Alright, that's it from me. I'll see you all soon.